Hello squaddies and welcome to this other episode of Brian Squaddies. I trust that all of you are doing great and that you're fine just wherever you are. So thank you for joining us again on this episode. And today I want us to talk about uh Sasha Walpole being interviewed by Piers Morgan for his talk TV show. That is after she revealed herself. After she said that Prince Harry invaded her privacy. Now who's actually parading herself out there saying how she is the woman, the other woman who Prince Harry was talking about. This is such high level of hypocrisy. You know she had previously had an interview with the Daily Mail and then right now she had an interview with Piers Morgan and I was like no this can't be happening if she genuinely just wanted to let her truth get out there then the Daily Mail interview would be enough that would be the end of it because already she had told her whatever was on her mind in the Daily Mail interview So what what was the need of her going again to the Piers Morgan show? If this isn't about actually profiting from all these interviews then I don't know what it is. And even during the interview Piers Morgan had the audacity to even say that Harry went from a digger to a gold digger. And I'm like, do these people actually know who Meghan is? Do they know the level of achievement that Meghan had before actually meeting Prince Harry? The amount of work that Meghan had done. No one in the royal family had actually gone to the extent to which Meghan had gone. No one had done so much work like Meghan had. Not even this Sasha Walpole, the woman whom uh Piers Morgan is claiming that Harry came from uh a digger to a gold digger megan was never a gold digger and they should just stop using this word because they're embarrassing themselves megan was a very established and very successful woman her career was very very successful does a gold digger buy herself a wedding gown or even a reception dress you know how much those things cost it's a lot of money and megan just bought them herself She never d- depended on the tax per money. Now does a gold digger do that? I don't think so. So they should just stop calling Megan a gold digger because this is such a bad name to actually call uh, this very beautiful and respected woman. Megan deserves all the respect in the world because she has done so much. She has helped a lot of people. We all know Piers Morgan for being pretty two-faced. He knows very well that Megan is a good person but he continually trashes her just because he's bitter that Megan did not invite him to the wedding or whatever his expectations were of Megan that they did not actually prevail he should just get over this obsession of Megan and trying to use Megan's name just to gain profits it's actually very very disgusting Piers Morgan is truly continuing to embarrass himself and I'm really glad that Megan never gave him any of her time because she doesn't owe him anything not even an interview not even meeting up with Piers Morgan because what he's done to Megan I don't think that even uh can be forgiven the way he's been dragging her you know, knowing very well that Megan is not a bad person it just doesn't add up and even for this Sasha Walpole to go over and uh, be interviewed by Piers Morgan tells you the kind of person that she is you all know they usually say that birds of the same feather flock together and this is truly the uh, example of it her accepting to be interviewed by Piers Morgan actually tells you the kind of woman that she is and the kind of things that they were discussing in this interview oh my god how could someone actually say this 
Piers Morgan actually asked her if she thinks that Prince Harry traded up or down from her, to which she replied that definitely down. Oh, come on. Even a blind person can see who among these two has a more accomplished life. I mean, between Sasha and Meghan, you can see who has a more accomplished life. And it's just by the way they talk. If you actually need to drag someone else so that you can uplift yourself or make yourself feel better, then you should double check yourself. Because how could this woman actually say that? We all know Megan is a beautiful woman. Megan is a very hardworking woman. And has this woman actually seen Megan? Because Megan is stunning inside and out. She looks so beautiful. And how can you say that Harry actually traded down? Doesn't make sense to me at all. The main difference between uh, this woman and Megan is that Megan doesn't need to undermine other women, especially not someone whom she doesn't know, just to make herself feel better. So yes, Megan has a much higher class than any of these women that are trying to bring her down. She's more beautiful than any of these women that are always trying to bring her down. And they know that. They know that. That's why they can't even make Megan breathe. They just want to make Megan feel bad for whom she is. They know that Megan is far much better and has a much better good life than any of them. That's why they're so jealous. Always saying all these lies, always trying to make up things about Megan because they know that she is a much, much uh, successful woman. Or did this woman actually mean that because of her skin color, she was automatically better better than Megan. Could that be what she meant? Because she should be hanging her head in shame right now. This is so shameful of her. And all I can say is that Prince Harry actually hit the jackpot when he met Megan. You can all see the way he describes Megan in his book. He loves this woman so much. He knows that he is a very lucky man to actually have Megan in his life. So Prince Harry actually traded up. And it's actually very ironical that Meghan is always trying to fight for the rights of women, always trying to uplift women, are saying good things about women. And yet you find all these women always trying to bring her down. And you're like, what don't you get? Why do you hate this woman so much? What has she done to you? The fact that they, they don't even know Megan and they still write all these articles and they still attend all these interviews just to trash this woman tells you everything you need to know about these women. They are racist. Or at least they're doing this just for money. They should be ashamed of themselves. And Dr. Shola had to say this on Twitter. On Twitter she said that Sasha Walpole saying that I'm the older woman who took Prince Harry's virginity. And just imagine if Prince Harry says, it wasn't you, Sasha, take a seat. I really hope that Prince Harry says that. You know, at first I could have believed this woman. At first I almost believed her. But right now when she went to Piers Morgan's show, I was like, no, there's no way she did that. She had already made her point. She had already given an interview to the Daily Mail. What was the reason of her going to Piers Morgan's show? It doesn't make sense at all. So, uh, Dr. Shola continued, continued to say that abusing Meghan Markle is shameless attempt with Piers Morgan to extend fame longer than five minutes fumbled with Harry. Treaded down indeed. That's so obvious. The way Piers Morgan continually brings Meghan and Harry's name every time he talks shows you what his true intentions are. He knows that if he, do, if he doesn't mention Meghan or Harry's name, then people are not going to watch his show. So he needs to keep the audience. He needs to continually state Meghan and Harry's name, which is, which is so shameful of him. And I'm even thinking that Piers Morgan knew very well 
when he asked that woman uh, to compare herself with Megan. He knew that she was going to be the laughing stock. He knew that people were going to laugh at her immediately she said those words. But who are we to educate these people? Of course she knew that this was going to be a laughing matter. But if you're going to deal with these tabloids, then expect to be beaten. She is getting what she deserves. Prince Harry did not even name her in the memoir. He only gave a description of her. He said that she was an older woman and this woman was two years older than him. You can even hear uh, this part of the memoir. But no, Marco looking grim said this was no lucky outing. What's up, Marco? I've been asked to find out the truth, Harry. About what? I suspected he was referring to my recent loss of virginity. Inglorious episode with an older woman. She liked horses quite a lot and treated me not unlike a young stallion. Quick ride, after which she'd smacked my rump and sent me off to graze. Among the many things about it that were wrong, it happened in a grassy field behind a busy pub. Obviously someone had seen us. The truth, Marco? About whether or not you're doing drugs, Harry. What? It seemed that the editor of Britain's biggest tabloid had recently phoned my father's office to say she'd uncovered evidence of me doing drugs in various locations, including Club H. Also a bike shed behind a pub, not the pub where I'd lost my virginity. My father's office immediately dispatched Marco to take a clandestine meeting with one of this editor's lieutenants in some shady hotel room, and the lieutenant laid out the tabloid's case. Now Marco laid it out. So for this Sasha to actually go out there saying that Prince Harry invaded her privacy is a hypocritical thing to do. And it's just the dumbest thing that I've had uh, in a very long time. Everyone in the whole wide world knows that the British media pay for falsehoods. They know that they can pay you loads of cash just to tell lies. And right now that she has presented herself thinking that she'll be getting loads of cash. Instead, she needs to be locked up since Prince Harry was even a minor when they were doing uh, whatever they did. When this woman ran to the Daily Mail to present her story, that's when she compromised her privacy right there and then. The whole wide world knew that she was the one, the woman who was being talked about in the memoir. But up to right now, I still can't believe that this is actually the woman because she is doing all these very suspicious interviews. I'm also thinking that she just wants her five minutes of fame. And nobody actually cared enough who was being spoken about in the memoir. If she had not even revealed herself, nobody would have cared. It wasn't such a big issue because the main thing that people are concerned about was Harry's story. It was not about who Harry was, whom Elaine with in the past. This woman is actually just embarrassing herself. And the fact that she has two kids, I was like, Oh my God, what do her kids actually think of her right now? Going to parade herself, doing all these interviews uh, and stating the same, same things that she's saying is just so embarrassing. Talking about Harry's virginity in all these interviews, comparing herself with Megan. Oh my God, this is so cringy. Greed and cloud chasing can actually make someone do unimaginable things. Because this Sasha actually should have known uh, the time that she had to stop. The time that she had to keep quiet. Because seeing all these things, seeing how she took Harry's virginity and continually doing that. I thought that the Daily Mail interview should have been enough. That would have been the end of this talk. But then she goes ahead to Piers Morgan's interview. Who knows what will be next? I honestly don't think that she should have even accepted to do all these interviews. It's just a total shame on her. It's so embarrassing to her and I'm sure that people who, people who also know her are so embarrassed right now. Because especially after Prince Harry had described that episode as inglorious, I don't think that is something that you should gloat in. That is not something that you should be proud of and go on national television giving all these interviews, people seeing your face, 
Oh my God, this is something that you should have taken to your grave. This is not something that you go ahead and say all over. No one wants to hear such things. No one even wanted to know you. So this is clearly just cloud chasing and wanting to be paid to do all these interviews. She clearly wants her five minutes of fame. So Sasha Walpol has actually embarrassed herself big time by making such kind of comments. I actually have no pity for her for everything that she is going through right now. For all the words that people are saying, she has brought this on herself. We can all see that Harry and Meghan are very, very happy in their marriage. They are so in love. They continue being in love each and every single day. Harry even said that that was the beginning of their love. This is a love that always grows. And I don't think that Harry and Meghan can never give up this love for anything in the world. I know that these haters actually know better. They know that Harry and Meghan are good people. As I end this podcast, let me know your opinions concerning uh, whatever Sasha Walpole had said. Because to me, I just see that this was a trap by Piers Morgan and she is embarrassing herself. She has already embarrassed herself. So let me know your opinions on the comment section. And may God bless you all. May God bless Harry and Meghan and their kids and Doria and all their loyal friends. And all of you, all Sussex Squad our family, may God bless each and every single one of you. Until I see you all on the next podcast, have a great day. Goodbye.